Assalamu alaikum. Hello, everyone. Brother Abdus Saman. Wa alaikum salam. Wa alaikum salam. Wa alaikum salam. Okay, thank you so much. Dana, Dana from Indonesia, right? Okay. Wa alaikum salam. Mr. Yeah. Rathaya, from where? From Indonesia or from where? Rathaya. Yes, Indonesia. Ah, nice. Yes, nice. I'm Indonesia. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's great. We will have just two minutes and then we will start. Thailand. Just two minutes. Okay. And then we will start. Yeah. How are you, Fadila? Sarah. Mr. Pom. Miss Pompey Mall is here. Okay, good. Beer J. Aldo, that's good. Um, Professor was angry. Yes. Nafis. Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm good. I'm good as usual. Yeah. So how was your your day? Today was holiday, right? Yes, holiday. Uh huh. So what did you yeah. do? Any uh, activity? Today I went I went to buy some stuff from from the mall and come back and relax mm -hmm. and watch movie. Oh. Oh, I see. Not wash. Watch. Wash. Wash. <laughs> okay. That's good. That's good. Okay. How was your day? It was nice. I've been to the mall to fix my laptop. I got mm. some trouble with the laptop, so I need to fix it. Everything okay? Yeah, it's, it's okay. Better now. Yes. I've been to the Fortune, 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 Fortune Mall. Jadi niamu kita. Dana, what did you say? Okay, let me share my slides of window tab. Today we will have one presenter also. Okay, that's this one is nice. Let's see. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the grammar. Okay, we have quantifiers. We have quantifiers. Okay, so today we will talk a little bit about quantifiers. Function like comparative and hold a relative position on a scale of increase or decrease. Okay, like for example, many people, more people, the most people, okay, many, more, most, few, fewer, fewest, with plural countable noun. Remember this one, plural countable noun, we use many, we use more, we use most, we use few, we use fewer, we use fewest. Okay, with countable nouns. We use much, we use more, we use most. We use li little, less, least with uncountable nouns. Is it clear? We use many people, many cups, many pens, many phones or mobiles, many. Uh, again? Okay, so we use 
with countable many more most we use uncountable like much more most okay okay increase from zero percent to hundred percent with plural many more most with uncountable much there are th there is much sugar there is much sugar in the cup okay okay for decrease from 100 to zero percent we use few okay okay this one is decrease like going down going down decrease okay this one we call decrease okay few fewer fewest little less least okay this is uh little little less l e double s this is l e a s t okay zero and hundred okay this one go in the direction okay there are many people in england more in india but the most people live in china okay there are many people in england more in india but most people live in china much time and money is spent on education, more on health, but the most, but the most is spent on nat national defense. Okay. Few river in Europe are not polluted. Okay. Fewer people die young now then in the 17th century the country with the fewest people per square kilometer must be australian scientists have little hope of finding a complete cure for cancer before the year 2000 okay she had less time to study than Paul, but had better results. Give that dog the least opportunity and it will bite you. Okay. Okay. This is just example. Okay. Just example. Not, not nothing like too serious. Aldo, can you give me one example? Much or more or many? Just one example. There are many fish in the rivers. There are many fish in the river. We have the most people on the town. Okay, we have the most people in the town, on, not on the town, in the town. Okay, good. Any other example from other students or other participants? I hope this one is clear. We don't discuss too much about the grammar. We just give like a little bit just like touch up okay fadila are you ready yes fadila hello are you ready to present something um i think yes yeah you can okay. just present and then i will move to the listening and reading part okay i will share my screen now Good.
can you see my screen? Yep. Yeah, it's it's clear now. Okay. 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 Okay, hi guys. I am Fadila. I'm from Thailand. And today I would like to share to you to you guys about uh, seven simple tips to tackle working from home. Okay. Due to coronavirus or COVID-19 outbreak has meant a big life change for us all, including like adjusting to new ways of working or studying from home as me. And some of us enjoy it, but for many among us have been challenging as well. So there's feeling stress, lack of motivation and anxiety. And today I would like to share with you about this. simple tips can help you feel more productive and motivated and take care of your mental health while working from home. Okay, start to the first one. The first one is set and stick to a routine. Without steady schedule, the lines between work and personal time get it can get blurred and be stressful to get right. So follow your normal sleep and work pattern if you can and stay consistent. Like Get up at the same time, eat breakfast, and get out of your pajamas. And then ex- exercise, exercising before to get to work. Okay, and most importantly, when your, uh, when your work day stop, stop working. Shut down. Stop shaking email and focus on your, your home life. And at the end of the day, try to get to bed at, the, at your usual time. Okay, the second one is make up appropriate workspace. Find a quiet space away from people and distraction if you can. Like get everything you need in one place before you start work. For example, like chargers, pens paper and anything else and shut the door if you can even in a small or shared space try to dis- design it an area for work lastly get comfortable find a place or anything to sit comfortably comfortably but it's much better to sit at the desk or table Try to set up your workspace correctly as much as you can. And uh, the third one is give yourself a break. Making time for break is important to help manage feeling of stress. Like try to take lunch and regularly screen breaks. And give yourself time to concentrate on uh, something else so you feel more focused uh, when you return. Um, just even, even just 5 to 10 minutes of short uh, break as hour. Like spend time outdoors, see a, screen, a green space or play with your pet. It can really help your productivity too. Okay. Number four, uh, stay connected. Like, why are you working from home has its benefits? You may also feel more isolated, uh, but there are a lot of ways to stay in touch with those uh, who matter, boosting their mental well being as well as you, our own. Such as chatting a video call with your friend because your colleagues. Um, uh, probably feel the same as you. So ask how they are doing and the weather and their way you can support each other. Like make time to socialize, usually schedule in a coffee break or having breakfast just together. Okay. Five. Fifth. <laughs> Set boundaries. Like 
setting a boundaries with 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 other member of your household is the key to mental well-being while working at home you can be more flexible uh, when working from home so enjoy it but it can also be difficult if there are other distractions to deal with like children at home uh, who may think you are on holiday and want to spend time with you so have a discussion about your needs especially with your family remind them that you still have work to do and need quiet time to do it and share your schedule with them and six think longer term you may be continuing continuing to work from home for a while so think about ways you can uh, you could improve how you work while at home like if you have a room that has a window that lets in a lot of light could you work there instead yeah and try to explore uh, how you work with others are there different ways to talk online or new software or application you could use something like that and the last one is be kind to yourself remember this is an this is an unusual situation and thing will not feel normal and be kind to yourself and acknowledge that you might not be as productive as you usually would be So be realistic about what you can achieve in the unusual situation, and relax when, uh, relax when your work is done. And yeah, I think uh, that's all for me for today. And uh, hopefully, it can help you. Yeah, much as you can. Okay, thank you. That's all for me. Back to you guys. Really nice presentation. Really nice presentation. Thank you. Good. Okay. Okay, let's move to the listening part. Okay. I don't think we've met. My name's Tom. Hi, Tom. Nice to meet you. My name is Juanita, but everybody calls me Jenny. Nice to meet you, Jenny. So, where are you from? Well, I'm originally from Argentina, but we moved. The United States when I was about five years old. Oh. My parents met. I live in Chile. That's where they. First met. How about you, Tom? I was born in Fresno, California. We. Lived there until I was seven. Then since my. My father was in the military. We moved all over the place. Oh, yeah. yeah, we're
I lost the connection. Yes, is it? It is the connection. It's the problem. Okay. Let me play again. Hi, I don't think we've met. My name's Tom. Hi, Tom. Nice to meet you. My name is Juanita, but everybody calls me Jenny. Nice to meet you, Jenny. So where are you from? Well, I'm originally from Argentina, but we moved to the United States when I was about five years old. Oh. My parents now live in Chile. That's where they first met. How about you, Tom? I was born in Fresno, California, and we lived there until I was seven. Then, since my father worked for the military, we moved all over the place. Oh, yeah? Where are some of the places you've lived? Mostly, we lived overseas. We spent 10 years in Korea, Germany, and Japan, and then we were transferred back to the States three years ago. Wow. It sounds like you've had an interesting life. So what do you do now? I'm a university student. Oh, really? What are you studying? I'm majoring in psychology. How about you? What do you do? Well, I'm working as a sales representative for a computer company called CompTech downtown. No kidding. My brother works there, too. Okay, this... One Hi, more I don't think we've met. My name's Tom. Hi, Tom. Nice to meet you. My name is Juanita, but everybody calls me Jenny. Nice to meet you, Jenny. So where are you from? Well... I'm originally from Argentina, but we moved to the United States when I was about five years old. Oh. My parents now live in Chile. That's where they first met. How about you, Tom? I was born in Fresno, California, and we lived there until I was seven. Then, since my father worked for the military, we moved all over the place. Oh, yeah? Where are some of the places you've lived? Mostly, we lived overseas. We spent 10 years in Korea, Germany, and Japan, and then we were transferred back to the States three years ago. Wow. It sounds like you've had an interesting life. So what do you do now? I'm a university student. Oh, really? What are you studying? I'm majoring in psychology. How about you? What do you do? Well, I'm working as a sales representative for a computer company called CompTech downtown. No kidding. My brother works there, too. Okay, so... Do I need to play again, or is it okay? Uh, no, I think that's all. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. So what can you can 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 you catch up anything from the the listening part? No. Oh really? Okay, Echo, anything that you can catch? Yes, but they are they are I think they are talk fast for me, but I can catch up some all right. Like Two people miss the first time together. Okay. Jenny and Tom. Okay. Then, uh, wait, Jenny's tell about herself about or uh, she she come from Argentina and stay in United States around five years old. And she works with the about computer. Mm -hmm. It mm -hmm, it a meta positions I I cannot Catch the what position? Okay. And about Tom, Tom is, I think he from French. Uh -huh. French. Okay. Uh, and of California, and he's he went he went to many. Oh, he has been. To. He has uh, been. He has been stay many country. Yes. Around the world and has come back to. Come back to Nune District in Jenny around three, three years ago, and then he's he study he study uh -huh. at universe. Oh, uh, he's he still study in he has been study studying in the university. Okay, well, what what study. subject can you catch up? Uh, about psychology. Good. Okay, that's good. Thank you. Good, good, good. Okay, Mr. Aldo, anything from your side? Fadila, anything that you can catch up? Uh, like Miss Kwang Kim. Okay, it's similar <laughs> thing, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, no additional comments. How about BRJ? Today he is silent. <laughs> okay. Uh. Yeah. I think 
Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, still the same, but let me tell you something. Um, there was Tony and Jane, right? Yes. For the soccer. And what's it called? Their first met. Mm -hmm. And they talk about um, what they do and where they're from. Actually, mm -hmm. Junior from Argentina, but the guys moved to yeah, in uh, to United States mm -hmm. since five years old, mm -hmm. and Tony moved to uh from California uh -huh. since seven years old, and his father worked as military. Then he's a student. Thank you. <laughs> That's good. Good, 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 good. Anyone else want to share? Arif Rahman, Asiya Nabila, Afham, or Rathaya Muhammad, Olivia. You, you can share because it will help you to, to like communicate or to practice speaking. Just well, you can share whatever you like heard. Faris Arya. Okay, let's move to the. Okay, who want to be like Tom? Me. Okay, you are Tom. Abham Nad Nad Nadhif. Or Hashif Hashifatul or BRJ is okay because I don't know even the names. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. So one become like Jen Jenny and one become Tom. Okay. With the conversation. Yes. Okay. Wait, is that to conversation? Yes. I'm Tom, right? Who is Tom? Who is Jenny? Who would you want to be? Okay, you are Jenny because that's female character and Tom is Mr. Aldo. Okay. Oh, I don't think uh, we've met. My name is Tom. Hi, Tom. Nice to meet you. My name is Jenita. But everybody calls me Jenny. Nice to meet you, Jenny. So we're... Uh, are you from? Well, originally I'm from Argentina, but we moved to the United States when I was about five years old. My parents now live in Chile. Mm -hmm. um, that's where they first met. How about you, Tom? Okay, um, I was born in Fresno, California, and we left there until I was seven. Then, since my father worked for the military, we moved all over the, the place. Oh, yeah. Where are some of the places you have lived? <clears throat> uh, we were overseas. We spent 10 years in Korea, Germany, and Okinawa, <laughs> Japan. And then we were transferred back to stage two years ago. Wow, sounds good. Um, um, wow, it sounds like... It's which one? Sorry, sorry. It sounds what? okay. Life. Okay. okay. Wow, well, it sounds like you've had an interesting life. So, what do you do now? I'm a student. I'm a u university student. Oh, really? What are you studying? I'm majoring in psychology. How about you? What do you do? What do you do? <laughs> well. I'm working as a sales representative for a computer company called Contact um, Downtown. Me too. My brother works there too. Thank you. Good. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, the next one. Let's listen to the next one. Nice to meet you. Let's see what they say. Can I try? Yeah, you, you you want to try? Yeah, can. Yes, I think I can. You with who? You can select anyone from the group. Uh, wait, hold on. Mm, 
I can choose. Wait, no, I don't think. Wait. How about for the uh, is nani is nine? Uh, yeah, I think that is yes. Is nani? Can you hear us? Nayaka, Nayaka, Ayubi. Okay, Nayaka, she is here, so you can. Oh, okay. it's not a... So, start now, maybe? Yes. Okay, you can start. One person become Tom and the other Jenny. I can be Tom because yeah, it's a boy. I don't want to be girl. And who who is the girl? Who, where, where is she? Okay. How about me? Okay, that's good. Okay. Oh. Okay. You can start now. Yes. All right, Tom. Hi. I don't think we we've, we've met. My name is Tom. Hi, Tom. Nice to meet you. My name is Juanita. But uh, everybody calls me Jenny. Nice to meet you, Jenny. So, where are you from? Well, originally I'm from Argentina, but we moved to the United, uh, United States when I was about five years old. My parents now live in China. That's where they first meet. How about you, Tom? I was born in Fresno. California and we lived there until I was seven then science then science my father worked for the military we moved all over the place okay since since okay since oh okay since good good oh here yeah? where are some of the places you've you have lived mostly we were overseas we spent 10 years in Korea, Germany, and Okinawa, Japan, and then we were transferred back to the States three years ago. Whoa, it sounds like you've had an interesting life. So what do you do now? I'm a university student. Oh, really? What are you studying? I'm majoring in psychology. How about you? What do you do? Well, I'm well. I'm working as a sales representative for computer company called Comtex Downtown. No kidding, my brother works there too. Good. <laughs> That's nice. Okay, let's move to the next one. Uh, hi, what is your name again? I can't keep straight out the students' names, this being the second day of school. It's okay, I have a hard time remembering names myself. Yeah, uh, Karen, right? <laughs> it's Nancy. My mom's name is Karen. Nancy, okay. I think I heard you were from England. Well, I was born there, but my parents are American. I grew up in France. Oh, a world traveler. But then we moved here when I was nine. So, what does your father do now? Well... He's a college professor, and he's in Scotland at the moment. How interesting. What does he teach? Oh, I haven't a clue. Nah, just joking. It's just his chemistry. Oh, chemistry. And uh, what about your mother? She works full-time at home. Oh, and what, does she have her own business or something? Nah, she takes care of me. Well, being a homemaker can be a real hard but rewarding job. I think so, too. Okay, one more time. This one is a bit hard. Not not easy, but it's okay. Let's try one, two, and three. Uh, hi, what was your name again? I can't keep straight out the students' names, this being the second day of school. It's okay, I have a hard time remembering names myself. Now, uh, Karen, right? <laughs> it's Nancy. My mom's name is Karen. Nancy, okay. I think I heard you were from England. Well, I was born there, but my parents are American. I grew up in France. Oh, a world traveler. But then we moved here when I was nine. So what does your father do now? Well, he's a college professor and he's in Scotland at the moment. How interesting. What does he teach? Oh, I haven't a clue. 
Nah, just joking. It's just it's chemistry. Oh, chemistry. And uh, what about your mother? She works full time at home. Oh, and what does she have her own business or something? No, nah, she takes care of me. Well, being a homemaker can be a real hard but rewarding job. I think so too. Okay. One more time. I think the last time, maybe. Uh, hi, what was your name again? I can't keep straight all the students' names, this being the second day of school. It's okay, I have a hard time remembering names myself. Now, uh, Karen, right? <laughs> it's Nancy. Her mom's name is Karen. Nancy, okay. I think I heard you were from England. Well, I was born there, but my parents are American. I grew up in France. Oh, a world traveler. But then we moved here when I was nine. So, what does your father do now? Well... He's a college professor, and he's in Scotland at the moment. How oh, interesting. What does he teach? Oh, I haven't a clue. Nah, just joking. It's just his chemistry. Oh, chemistry. And uh, what about your mother? She works full-time at home. Oh, and what, does she have her own business or something? Nah, she takes care of me. Well, being a homemaker can be a real hard but rewarding job. I think so, too. Okay, how was that? Any clue? Easy or difficult? Want to more? Yes, teacher. Uh, it's quite tough because have some so yes. very uh, look like looks very busy or all. Uh huh. Uh, um, I, I think the from the conversations, I think to. Two boys talk talk together. Okay, they talk together. Okay. Yes. And um, another boys thinks, oh, this miss this miss some um, boy the first time, and he taught him from England. Mm -hmm. But no, but I cannot catch the word. What from what country? Okay. Yes. And another boy asks. Another boy is about uh, what what your father do, uh -huh. and he told him that work about teacher. Mm -hmm. He is a like professor. A okay. Yes, a teacher, professor, and teach chemicals. Chemistry. Oh, chemistry. Sorry, okay. chemistry. And his mother, mm -hmm. mother, and I think is. His mother is housekeeper. I'm How not is, sure. Housewife? House, housewife? Halfwife. Okay, let, yes. we will check later. Okay, housewife, I guess, not housekeeper. Yes, housewife. Yeah, that's it. Okay, that's good. Good catch. Good catch. Thank you. Okay, BRJ, any idea what are they talking about? Okay. <laughs> The, okay, uh, there was a Nancy and a guy. We talked about uh, Nancy. Uh, what, uh, about uh, what Nancy do? Okay. And her father should do. That's, uh, that, that you catch. Uh, okay. uh -huh. <laughs> Nancy is a, a traveler and her father teaches... What's it called? Uh, chemistry. Okay. Um. What? Well, I jumped in. <laughs> so, <laughs> thank you. Because it's bro, sorry. Okay, no problem. No problem. No problem. How about Fadila? Okay. Um, I think they are in school. And the man is a teacher, probably. And the, the little kid is a student. Okay. And the man is um. The kid that her name is Karen, but the kid said no, Karen is mm, her mom. My name is Nancy. Okay. Yeah, and and the kid is originally from US, uh -huh. but they have um, ever been to England before. I don't know, but it's kind of yeah, something like that. And her father. The uh, professor mm -hmm. teaching chemistry okay. at a uh, somewhere I don't know, and her mom is housewife. Okay, 
That's a very good catch. How can you do that? Good, uh, good, good, good. Yeah, it's nice. Thank you. Yeah, that's good. How about others? Anyone want to share what they heard? Rathaya or anyone else? Okay, I think we can move to. Okay, Pompey Mall. Yes. Yeah, you are a teacher. And who else? You can select from the group. Because today some students are not like available. They have some activities, so that's why they couldn't join. Mm -hmm. For it, for the, for the, me, yes. So one okay, of okay. you become teacher, one of you become student. Okay. Oh hi, what's what's your name again? Uh, I can't keep straight. Are the students' names this being the second day of school? It's okay. I have a hard time remembering names myself. How are Karen right? No, it's Nancy. My mom's name is Karen. <laughs> <laughs> Nancy, okay. I think I heard you were from England. Well, I was born there, but my parents are American. I grew up in France. Oh, the word toddler. But then we moved here when I was nine. So, what does your father do now? Well, he's a college professor and he is in Scotland at the moment. Wow, interesting. How interesting. How interesting. What's, what's that he teach? Oh, I haven't a clue. Nah, just joking. He teaches chemistry. Oh, chemistry. And uh, what's about your mother? She was full time at home. Oh, and you, and what? Does she have her or in business or something? Nah, uh, she takes care of me. Well, being a homemaker can be real hard, but rewarding job. I think so too. I think so too. Good, good, good. Okay, keep straight. That means remember clearly. You need to keep the fact straight if you want to pass the test. Keep straight. That means remember clearly. Okay. Nah, it means no. Okay. Do you want to come to the party? Nah, I have other plans that evening. Homemaker, housewife is the same. His wife is a homemaker. Okay. She is a housewife. Okay. You can say like that. Okay. Anyone want to practice? Uh, I can do it yes. again. Again. We uh, well, the person last time that I was. Who is the person last time? Fardi or Faris? No, De Desi? Uh, what is it? What's the. Wait, hold up. Ah, yes. Uh, Desi. Desi last time, right? Yeah. Okay. If she can open. Or Chintaya. Okay, that's right. already okay. Good. I am a student. Oh, so I'm the teacher. Yes. Okay, so I will start now. Oh, hi. What was your name again? I can't keep straight all the students' name. This being the second day of school. It's okay. I have a hard time remembering names myself. 
Who? Uh, Karen, right? No, it's Nancy. My mom's name is Karen. Nancy? Okay, I think I heard you were from England. Well, I was born there, but my parents are American. I grew up in France. Oh, a world traveler. But then we moved here when I was nine. So, what does your father do now? Well, he's a college professor, and he's in Scotland at the moment. How interesting. What does he teach? Uh, oh, I haven't, I haven't a clue. Nah, just looking. He teaches chemistry. Oh, chemistry. And... Uh, chemistry, not chemistry. Chem chemistry. Okay, all right. Oh, chemistry. And uh, what about your mother? She works full-time at home. Oh, and what and what does she have for own business or something? Nah, she takes care of me. On, on, on business, okay? On, O-N, okay? Her on. own business, okay, good. All right. Nah, she <laughs> takes care of me. Okay. Well, being a homemaker can be a real hard but rewarding job. I think so too. Great. Anyone else want to participate? Keep straight is mean remember clearly. Na is no. And homemaker is similar to housewife. Okay. Anyone else want to practice? If no, then we will move to the last activity, last listening activity actually. Drugs and medication. Just a moment. So how are things going, Steve? Well, to be honest, Carl, I was feeling... So how are things going, Steve? Well, to be honest, Carl, I was feeling great on Saturday, but I started to feel sick Sunday afternoon. I thought I'd get better, but I feel worse than before, and I'm really worried because I'm scheduled to give a presentation at work on Friday, so I have to be better by then. Well, what seems to be the problem? Well, I thought I had the flu, but the doctor said it was just a bad cold. He gave me some cold medicine to take care of my stuffy nose and fever. I'm supposed to take the medicine three times a day after eating, but it doesn't seem to help. He also told me to stay off my feet for a day or so, but... So how are things going, Steve? Well, to be honest, Carl, I was feeling great on Saturday, but I started to feel sick Sunday afternoon. I thought I'd get better, but I feel worse than before. And I'm really worried because I'm scheduled to give a presentation at work on Friday, so I have to be better by then. Well, what seems to be the problem? Well, I thought I had the flu, but the doctor said it was just a bad cold. He gave me some cold medicine to take care of my stuffy nose and fever. I'm supposed to take the medicine three times a day after eating, but it doesn't seem to help. He also told me to stay off my feet for a day or so, but I'm so busy these days. Listen, forget about that medicine. I have just the thing to get rid of bad colds. You see, my mom is really into herbal medicine. Oh, no thanks. Oh, come on, give it a try. You just take some of my mom's herbal tea and drink it four times a day. Believe me, you'll be up and dancing around in no time. Dancing around in no time, right? Well, I guess. Nothing else seems to be doing the job. Great. I'll come by your place at 7.30. See you then. Okay, a bit fast, but it's okay. We can try. So how are things going, Steve? 
Well, to be honest, Carl, I was feeling great on Saturday, but I started to feel sick Sunday afternoon. I thought I'd get better, but I feel worse than before. And I'm really worried because I'm scheduled to give a presentation at work on Friday, so I have to be better by then. Well, what seems to be the problem? Well, I thought I had the flu, but the doctor said it was just a bad cold. He gave me some cold medicine to take care of my stuffy nose and fever. I'm supposed to take the medicine three times a day after eating, but it doesn't seem to help. He also told me to stay off my feet for a day or so, but I'm so busy these days. Listen, forget about that medicine. I have just the thing to get rid of bad colds. You see, my mom is really into herbal medicine. Oh, no thanks. Oh, come on, give it a try. You just take some of my mom's herbal tea and drink it four times a day. Believe me, you'll be up and dancing around in no time. Dancing around in no time, right? Well, I guess. Nothing else seems to be doing the job. Great. I'll come by your place at 7.30. See you then. So how are things going, Steve? Well, to be honest, Carl, I was feeling great on Saturday, but I started to feel sick Sunday afternoon. I thought I'd get better, but I feel worse than before. And I'm really worried because I'm scheduled to give a presentation at work on Friday, so I have to be better by then. Well, what seems to be the problem? Well, I thought I had the flu, but the doctor said it was just a bad cold. He gave me some cold medicine to take care of my stuffy nose and fever. I'm supposed to supposed to take the medicine three times a day after eating, but it doesn't seem to help. He also told me to stay off my feet for a day or so, but I'm so busy these days. Listen, forget about that medicine. I have just the thing to get rid of bad colds. You see, my mom is really into herbal medicine. Oh, no thanks. Oh, come on, give it a try. You just take some of my mom's herbal tea and drink it four times a day. Believe me, you'll be up and dancing around in no time. Dancing around in no time, right? Well, I guess. Nothing else seems to be doing the job. Great. I'll come by your place at 7.30. See you then. Okay. Any idea what are they talking about? Yes. Um, from this conversation, uh, Steve, Steve talking with Kalai. Mm -hmm. They are talking about help. Help of Steve. Steve like not, not, not going well. Because he 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 feel he feel normal in Saturday, but Sunday he was sick, mm -hmm. and yeah. on Friday he want he have he had to doing work about presentation, and he was worried about it too much. Okay, and okay. then. And and then, I think he he went to see doctor. Okay. And doctor give give her his his medicine, and he he takes medicine three times. Okay, give him medicine, and he yeah. takes three times. Okay. Three times and never useful, never like get better. Mm -hmm. And Karai's Karai just recommends recommends him to takes the medicines because her mom got sick like this before okay. and and she she asked why him to take medicine four times a day mm -hmm. and 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 she said like that if you take medicines and you can dance in a row and no tired something like that in no time like in a very short time yes yeah, very short time Okay. Thank That's you. Good. good, good, good. How about Mr. Aldo or Padilla? Okay. What I catch up is Steve and Clara, Clara maybe? I'm okay. not sure. And Clara, Clara and Steve, like, how you doing? And she said like he he not very well on the Sunday afternoon. Okay. And he worried so much because he had to work in Friday and got a presentation, something like that. And he already takes the uh, medicine three times a day after okay. eating, but it it doesn't work. Okay. Yeah, and he has a 
polystyphenols and flu. Yep. Uh -huh. Okay, and Clara recommend him about. Uh, I'm not sure, but what Clara says, but like it, recommend the recommend about medicine, like herbal, my mom has herbal, it. Herbal medicine. What is that? I don't know. Like from the herbs, from the plants. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm, but but uh, Steve, not sure about that. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's all. Thank you. Okay. Welcome anytime. How about Mr. Aldo? Where are you? Mm -hmm. Or Rataya Muhammad? Uh, yes. Uh, I can't share in my talk. Okay. Anyone else want to share? Hey, hey. Me, me. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. okay. Um, he was feeling great on Saturday, but he started to feel sick on Sunday, on Sunday afternoon, and he told uh he told that he would get better, but he feel worse, mm -hmm. and he really worried because um it's his turn to give a presentation at work, right? Yes. on friday especially and he have to be better by then but he thought that he um he had a flu he, <laughs> he had a flu and the, the doctor said it was just a bad call so uh the doctor gave to him some cold medicine to take care of him stubby nose and fever and he's supposed to be a good what is it called i, I forgot to take uh, the medicine uh, three times a day after eating, but um, it doesn't seem like to help him. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and what? And the, the doctor uh, told him that to stay off to, uh, uh, what is it called? Um, stay off and stay off his feet, right? Uh huh. For for a day and um or or what? Ah uh, yeah, just yeah. say thank you. <laughs> That's all. Yeah, th this time you improve a lot. You know, you. Oh, thank That's you. Good. That's good. <laughs> Thanks, man. Good, 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 good catch. Anyone else want to share? Anyone else? If no, then we will move to the reading section. Okay. Uh, wait. Uh, okay, wait. Okay, okay, uh, wait. Can wait, I wait. Yes, share, yes. like, about the... Okay. You can share now. So, wait, what's name? I forgot what, what is name. Okay, you, you can just say, like, two person were talking, A and B. So, you can say like that. No need to, like, remember. But Carl... Carl all right, so it's kind of like a person A or person B, so like... Okay, Ka Carla and Steve, okay? Carla and Steve, okay. Can't see the presentation, oh, okay. You, so, you want to see? But but, but share first what, what you heard, uh, it's better. Uh, I think I can't, uh, now share, I can just talk what I remember. So Carla said, how... How is it going? So, like, wait, what's the, uh, this person made me like the A says, How is it going? So, it's good, but then later it was sick. Like, what days I keep talking? Mm -hmm. And then later, uh, they have like some sick, they go to the doctor. The sick is like some bad cold. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. Yeah, wait, I kind of forgot me because, yeah. That's fine. That's okay. Okay. So let's move to the. So who want to come first? English with Matilda. Matilda. 
Are you here with us? Yes, I can see it. So that is uh, Carla. Is how are things, Steve? Well, to be honest, I was feeling great on Saturday, but certain feel sick on Sunday, like the, was Steve is sick, and then Carla uh, said, "What's the problem?" And then Steve. Uh -huh. Huh? No, don't read now. Don't read now. Don't read now. Don't read now. <laughs> yeah. You, at first, we, we share what, what we heard. We just share together. It's, it's like practicing what, we, what, we, what kind of words that we can catch up and we try to communicate. That is the first step. The second step, okay, we just like share. Where is Mr. Afham? Do you want to share? Okay, Afham and Mr. Aldo. Oh, okay. Come together. First, okay. Then, yeah. Who's Carla? Who's gonna be Carla? Ask, ask Mr. <laughs> uh, Afham. He raised his hand. Afham, okay. Where are you, Afham? I think he is uh, not coming up. He just raised his hand, but no. Afham is little. Okay. Shy. Afham, <laughs> don't, don't shy. Why, why are you shy? Come, just, just. Because everyone here, is, they are learning. No, no one is like perfect here. Even I am learning from you guys. Come, come. Yeah. So do I. <laughs> yeah, sure. If now or never, we say now or never. Yeah, just come and participate. Uh, so okay. I might be Carla yeah. or Steve. Okay. Steve. But, but we, we can't, we can't hear you clearly. Maybe okay. just okay, okay. Yeah, go ahead. So, how are things going, Steve? Mr. Aldo, okay. Uh, well, um, to be honest, Carla, I was feeling great on, su on Saturday, but I started to feel sick Sunday afternoon. I thought I'd get better, but I feel worse than before. And I'm really worried because I'm scheduled to give a presentation at work on Friday. So I have to be better by then. Well, what seems to be the problem? Well, I thought I had a, I thought I had a flu, but the doctor said it was just a bad cold. He gave me some cold medicine to take care of my stubby nose and fever. I'm just I'm supposed to take the medicine three times a day after eating, but it doesn't seem to help. He also told me to stay off my feet for a day or so, but I'm so busy these days. Listen, forget about that medicine. I have just a thing to get rid of the bad colds. You see, my mom is really into herbal medicine. Oh no, thanks. Oh come on, give it a try. You just take some of my mom's herbal tea and drink it for four times a day believe me you'll be up and dancing around in no time dancing around in in no time right well i guess nothing else seems to be doing that job great i'll come by your i'll come by your, your place at seven seven thirty seven thirty see you then see you then okay pompey mole and fadila Yes. Um, yeah, you, you should. I should. I should, Steve. Okay. So, how are things going, Steve? Well, to be honest, Carla, I, I was feeling great on Saturday, but I started to feel sick Sunday afternoon. I thought I would get better, but I feel worse than before and I'm very worried about I am and very worried because I am student to give a presentation to work on Friday. So I have to be better by then. Well what seemed to be the problem? Well I thought I had, I heard 
the flu. But the doctor said it was just a bad cold. He gave me some cold medicine to take care of my stuffy nose and fever. I'm surprised to take the medicine three times a day after eating, but it doesn't seem to help. He also told me to stay off my feet for a day or so. Or so, but I'm so busy these days. Listen, forget about the medicine. I have just the thing of to get rid of bad cords. You see, my mom is rallying for herbal medicine. Oh no! Thanks. Ah,、uh, come on, give it a try. You just take some of my mom's herbal tea and drink it four times a day. Believe me. You'll be up and dancing around in no time. Dancing around in no time, right? Well, I guess nothing else seems to be doing the job. Great! I'll come by your place at seven thirty. See you then. Great. Okay, who wants to come up with? Anyone else want to participate? A B D, Abidin, or something. Me? For yeah, you can, you can, Desi, with who? Uh huh. All right. Yeah, try to find someone.、Uh, it's Nani, it's Nani. Come on, come on, chat. Where are you? Yes. Okay, go ahead. I'm a Carla. Okay. Yes, Carla. Okay. So. How are things going, Steve? Well, to be honest, Carla, I was feeling great on Saturday, but I started to feel sick Sunday afternoon. I thought I get better, but I feel worse than before, and I'm really worried because I'm scheduled to give a presentation at work on Friday, so I have to be better by then. Well, what seems to be the problem? Well, I thought I had a flu, but the doctor said it was just a bad cold. He gave me some cold medicine to take care of my stuffy nose and fever. I'm supposed to take the medicine three times a day after eating, but it doesn't seem to help. He also told me to stay off my feet for a day. Also, but I'm so busy this day. Listen, forget about that medicine. I have just the thing to get rid of bad colds. You see, my mom is really into herbal medicine. Oh no, thanks. Ah, come on, give it a try. You just take some of my mom's herbal tea and drink it four times a day. Believe me, you will be up and dancing around in no time. Dancing around in no time, right? Well, I guess、uh, nothing else seems to be doing the job. Great. I'll come by your place at seven thirty. See you then. You. Okay, the flu, informal for influenza, like a very bad cold with chills and fever. Ashley came down with the flu and she couldn't go to the school for a week. Flu, influenza, or bad cold with chills or and fever. Stuffy, close or blocked. I have a really stuffy nose and can't breathe very well. 
be supposed to expect it to do something. She was supposed to stay in bed and rest, but she went to work instead. Seeing it's a pair. My dad didn't seem very sick this morning, but he got worse during the rest of the day. Stay off your feet, put into action, okay? Put into action. If you want to get better, you have to stay off your feet for a few days, okay? Stay off your feet, put into action, get rid of, do away with, eliminate or remove, okay? Try my garlic soap. My garlic soup, it will help get rid of your bad, bad stuffy nose. Come on, said to encourage someone to do something. Come on, call and make an appointment to see the doctor. You are not going to get better on your own. Okay, the next part is like reading. Okay. So those who are shy, let's work with them first. I will go to the top of the list is Afham, Afham Nadhiv. Afham, can you read for me this one? This is for Afham. Just read for us. If you are here, oh, Afham, can you hear us? Or ABD? Then we have BJ. What? Yeah, you can go ahead. Okay. Um, just read this, right? Yes. Okay. Mother's Day is a holiday that celebrates and honors mothers in, in the United States. It is celebrated on the second Sunday in May. It became an official holiday in the country at the start of 20th century as well to honor mothers whose sons had died in war. The holiday is celebrated in a number of ways. People give mothers gifts like flowers, cards, and javelins to thank them for all their hard work. A popular symbol of the holiday is the carnation. This is because when the holiday first began in US, people were encouraged to wear a red carnation and if their mother was alive or a white carnation if their mother was dead. Many people think their mothers are for a special meal. In fact, Mother's Day is the most popular date in US for people to go out and eat. And it's estimated that people spend billions on meals and gifts. Mother's Day is also the most popular day to make long distance calls in US. It's the second most popular gift giving day after Christmas. Thank you. Okay, celebrates, okay, celebrates. Honors. Cele okay. Okay, honors. Honors. Not uh, honors. Uh, uh, okay. honors, okay, honors. And Jewelry, jewelry. Okay. Okay. Thanks, bro. Good. 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 Okay, Pompey Mall. Yes. You want to read the second one? Okay. Go ahead. Oh. If the color is not good, let me know. I will change. It, since it's establishment on Mother's Day has been Criticized, Good. Criticized. 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 For, criticized for becoming highly commercially <laughs> I, um, commercialized. 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 Okay. In, in fact, the father, the fathers of the United States holiday, and our service began protesting the holidays and what events 
arrange rent for disturbing the peace of the mood demonstrating 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 okay demonstrating service owner service owner's mother started the campaign to celebrate to, to establish a matter holiday a matter's holiday during the American Civil War. Mothers are not the only peop people celebrate on this celebrated, day. Celebrated. Celebrated on this day. All mother figures, including grandmothers, great grandmothers, stepmothers, and foster mothers are honored on the holiday. In school, schools, many students make special gifts, including handmade cards. Why, widely reconnected. Mother's Day is not a recognized. recognized. Mother's Day is not a figure's holiday. Many other countries all over the world have their own versions of Mother's Day. It's just some, somehow I, I can't feel about ED, how to pronounce the Asian. Yes, so you need to read more and loudly. Mm -hmm. You need to read more and loudly, like commercialized, mm -hmm. okay? Commercial. Criticized. Maybe Criticize. I will prepare a, another time about ED, how, how to pronounce that one. Mm -hmm. Like celebrate, celebrated, okay? Celebrated. Yeah, honored, honored. Okay, honor. On honor. Honored. The the in the last the, is honored. The, honored. 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 Oh. Um, it's mean about a tone, right? Yes. Recognized. Recognized. The the, the in the last. Recognized. 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 Yeah. Recognized. Uh, celebrated already. Celebrated. Demonstrating, 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 protesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this comes from the practice. When you practice more, it will be like clear with time, mm -hmm. like criticized. Okay, criticized, or you listen like many lectures or different like ministers yes. when they talk, give speech. Just maybe just five minutes, two minutes. You listen to the news. So you, you may you may like get better with time. You mean have to listen more about sure, words. sure, sure, sure. Thank you. Welcome anytime. Okay, Fadila. It's not good color. Okay, Fadila, for you. Are you here with us? Yes. Okay, it's sleeping, right? No. Okay. Okay. The self portrait is nothing new. Painters and photographers have mm -hmm. always used a themselves as subject. Today, however, all everyone walks around with a camera in his or her pocket. Mm -hmm. This is because <clears throat> because most cell phones have camera on them. Okay. The fact that most people have cell phone cameras with them all the time has led to the rise of selfie. Mm -hmm. A selfie is a self-portrait usually taken with a cell phone. Since the pictures are usually taken on a cell phone, many people tend to share this photograph with friends and even strangers on different social networking websites. Good. Some of the popular social networking platforms platform people used to share selfies include Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. That's good. Thank cool. you. Welcome. Canom Chat. 
ขมวนชาดขมวนชาดค่ะขมวนชาดโอเคอ่า people usually take selfies when they are engaged in normal day to day activities they take selfies of their commutes to work or school people take selfies of themselves eating other people take selfies to show what they are wearing or whom they are hanging out with The most common way to take a selfie is by holding a cell phone at arm's length. Some people take selfies by taking a picture of their reflection in a mirror. In these pictures, you can usually see the phone. The person is taking a picture, picture with. Selfie is taken taken using a mirror often. Are taken in a bathroom, which some people think is offensive. The bathroom is a very private place, mm-hmm. not a place to take pictures. Yes. Okay, the last part. That's good. Thank you so much. Uh, can I try? Yes, sure. What color do you want? The white one or this one? Okay. Uh, yeah, I think that's good. Some people think that selfies are a sign that people are becoming vain or super superficial. It is not often that people take pictures of themselves and uh, of themselves that make them look bad. When people take pictures of themselves, they usually are trying to present themselves in the best light. Mm-hmm. However, some people use selfies to show what they really look like. Some people are trying to challenge. Stereotypes of what makes someone attractive. Cool. <laughs> that's nice. Okay, that's all for this section. So moving to the last part, do you want to? Okay, let's play this game then. Okay, those who feel shy, come on. This is quite easy and very simple. Okay, pump you more. Yes. Yeah, be be active because last week we study about we we discuss one one topic, right? Yes. Yeah. So can you read for me and tell me what what is the good point in this? This is the first one, right? Yes, the first one. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Some people believe that studying studying at university or college. Is the best route to a successful career, while others believe that it is better to get a job straight after school. School. Mm-hmm. So la- last time we discussed some points. Can you can you remember? Yes, I remember. So you can you tell me in the first paragraph what is the good point? Um, like they discuss about about uh, study in university mm-hmm. compared compared to the get a job straight after school. Which one is is better? Mm-hmm. Okay, so they discuss both in the first paragraph. Okay, they discuss both and give his opinion. Okay. Yes. And he give his opinion. Okay, the second paragraph is about the job. Okay, the third mm-hmm. paragraph is about education. Okay, very very good start. And then he 
finalize his sum up by his concluding remarks. So it's like a summary. Mm. Okay? Yes. Okay, good. So let's move. Today we will move to the second one. That is, some says that internet is making the world smaller by bringing people together. To what extent do you agree that the internet is making it easier for people to communicate with one another? Okay, this is the topic. This is the second one. Okay, so let this one is not. I think this one is a bit different from the the first one. So let's see. Okay, let's see. A global village that is in that is certainly what the world feels like nowadays. With the help of the World Wide Web, www, you can reach out and get to know people you might never met in person. Article can be co-authored. Business deals can be finalized. Degrees can be earned. At times, even medical advice can be given. And all of this just a click away. Okay? This is like first paragraph mm. that he mentioned. He talked about, about many of it. Ma ma he discussed many things. Mm. All, all about the World Wide Web. Okay. What what he can he, he can get he can know people that you never met. Articles yes. you you can collaborate and you can write articles with and other people from another world. You can do business deals. You can earn degrees, like online, online learning from any university. You can even take medical advice. Medical advice. Okay, so he highlight the global village with the World Wide Web. I, I will highlight this one first, okay. Just to make it better, you can reach out people to know. Okay. Uh, you can reach out and get to know yeah you you can meet people or meet you people. can yeah you can like connect with people mm. easily okay you can write articles you can do the business deals okay and degrees you can earn from any university in the world online degree yeah that's that's the first paragraph he give all everything in one paragraph okay the second paragraph yes. what what he talk about Electronic mails, instant messages, web cameras, and microphones, all these gadgets and programs make the presence of the other, the people more, the more real. Who knows, with the help of visual reality, you might even get a 3D image of the speaker. I believe that the internet is one of the best inventions of the last century you can hardly get to miss to miss anyone or nobody is out of reach you will get to know the channel pattern with your your friends and will be able to do your work from your bedroom in your own pajamas however okay i will highlight this one the internet can also be a major source of harassment, okay, harassment. negative point, okay? Now he talk about negative thing. He talk about positive first. Now he yes. comes to the negative, okay? Spammers and hackers can invade your privacy and get personal or confidential information, which otherwise they will never get access to. You are never out of anybody's reach unless you make a con Con conscious decision of not checking your emails there can be always more work waiting for you in your inbox and you might never have a moment for yourself as Fadila said give some time to yourself okay worse if you were a work workaholic you might never experience that stress-free vacation even gain in your life simply because you have your own your mobile workplace with you as a romantic I will 
always I will I will always looking forward to getting an occasional letter in the snail mail a personal letter where I can sense the mood of the writer by the slants in his or her writing and get to know him better but as a tie a personality person the internet give me all what I dream of in communication speed reliability and convenience of time and place I can certainly tolerate its shortcomings and days as long as it's keep me close to my loved one okay it's quite long so the overall conclusion is he talked positive first then negative and he in the last he give the conclusion to be like to give some time to yourself and keep close what he do he keep close himself to his his loved loved one what do you think pompey mall is it good good essay mm. i think the i feel the first one better yes why because they arrange very well they talk like systematically yes. yeah that's good. Uh, why it's compared to uh, about topics and have like been taught to yes. writing yes. the first one focus like your opinions first yes. and second describe what support support your idea and the last one the inclusion of of the of the topic yes exactly exactly okay the good point of this essay is they didn't repeat the words they use mm. different words this is the good point yes this essay, okay they, they they talk as much as they can because they didn't stop they didn't repeat the things mm. they try to give like more and more words more and more vocabulary okay so next time we will move to the third one okay that, that maybe we can we can also discuss some of the at least seven band seven maybe this is a great essay at least band seven and maybe eight it is longer than the quite 340 words instead of 240 this is for IELTS writing which means that it took you more time to write and less time to check your work okay. yes um, okay. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure I like yes. if if want to get more point right have yes. to focus about conjunctive as well or not right? yes yes you, you have to take care because he, i see only this one however only one time okay. and then he he just like unless and here i see some something mm -hmm. is like not clear like the the but as a personality type a personality person the internet there, there is like mm -hmm. some something like mis misconnection or yeah i i feel that there is like misconnection so i we when when you're writing we have to focus about about your your own opinions or compare compare two things good and bad uh the the, the good point is like to compare keep it like wider so you have more vocab to use mm. if you if you say okay this is good okay then then you have you, you cannot say this is bad so yes. you have to think only about the good things and it will like maybe you you don't have like much words so i i suggest to give like both opinion okay good and bad so you discuss both so you your essay will be like longer you have more words to say so how about in in, in conclusion have okay. about yeah. I see, yeah. I see. In, in conclusion you can say your opinion it's oh, okay yes. no no problem yeah in conclusion you can say okay from what i feel like he say i can it certainly tolerate in shortcoming days uh, as long as it keep me close to my family so he give mm. his opinion even though he talk about the positive negative things but he give his opinion if he is close to his family that's all no, no problem yes yeah, so so you can give any 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 kind of opinion that's okay so next next week we will have another 
writing and we will discuss more and then we will compare like one, two and three. How, how does it different? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. That's good. So far, so good. Uh, no one. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, if you don't mind, uh, can you share the slide that you, that you present today till IELTS? Okay. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. Via emails, right? Uh, via email, okay? Via email, okay. Just send, just I will um your email. So I will I will send I will text it. you after this. Yes, sure, sure, sure. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, if you want to present anything, you can come up with the presentation next week. It's up to you. It's not like not like not a burden on you. If you want to share, you can. Or you want to practice, okay, you can bring some words, some vocabs or anything. So we can share together. Okay, that's all for tonight. See you next week. Hope you enjoyed. Or oh, maybe get bold. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you, bro. Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, you. Thank you. Thank you so thank much, Tisha. Thank you. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Good night. See you. Take I care. want to say goodbye. I will text you after this, okay? <laughs> okay, sure, sure, sure. sure. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.